Good morning, students. The next topic we are going to see is inverse filtering. So we have <coughs> find out that for the restoration we require different types of filters to get a restored image. In that first we are we can say it as in first basic very basic filter we have decided is inverse filtering. So saying about inverse filter, inverse filter is a linear straight forward image restoration method actually. Generally it is used to remove degradation occurred due to blurring. Actually this is generally used to remove degradation that has been happened due to blurring. How blurring is happened that is due to misfocus or during movement of object or camera this blurring may happen this may occur very frequently during the capturing of the image so during that stage this inverse filter can be used to remove the degradations happen during blurring the major advantage of the inverse filter with image restoration is that it is very simple it is very simple so designing the inverse filter the simple approach to re restoration is carried out <coughs> with the help of estimation here we estimate that the restored image is equal to <coughs> G of u, u comma v by h of u comma v. Here, when we are seeing about e, e g of u comma v, that is a degraded image, and h of u, <coughs> u comma v, v the, we can see the degradation function. And f cap u comma v is the uh, restored image. When we are getting restored image, when we are seeing decode image it can be rewritten the f of u comma v plus n of u comma v h u comma v so when we are taking this h of u comma v common we can find out that the expression is remodified and here <coughs> when we are say, see, saying about this this gives the transfer function for restoration filter this gives the inf necessary information for deriving that transformation so next when we are seeing about the drawbacks of inverse filtering the main drawback of inverse filtering is that an inverse filter will not perform well in the presence of noise when we are say when saying about inverse filtering <coughs> drawback if any noise is there, the performance will not be good. If noise is present, the inverse filter will tend to amplify. Why? The reason is uh, when in uh, improving the quality, the noise also get improved. So, which is undesirable, and due to that, when noise is there, we will not prefer this. Only blending is there. At that scenario, we will use this. So, when we are seeing this advantage, advantages and drawback, so here when we are seeing here the blurring is here the degradation blurring and there is no noise in such scenario. We can be able to restore the image like original image. So, in that scenario, if we are using this a very simple and effective method to minimize the degradation present in the image so when your image is degraded with the noise under circumstances degradation there noise is also there in such circumstances what is happened the degraded image will be restored with high amount of noise so the quality is totally adapted and due to this you have difficult to use 
then toys is there so that is considered to be the drawback in invest filtering so in the next filter we will will reduce this drawback and we will try to have the filtering in in the presence of noise also thank you